Hey guys, it's Mandy. And John. And today John is reviewing one of the Superman V, I'm sorry, Batman V Superman toys. Um, so I will let him take it from here. Alright. Uh, today we have Gauntlet Assault Batman. Uh, he's from the core basic line of the Mattel Batman vs Superman figures. Um, there's some stuff on the back here. Uh, these ones on the back, we actually have uh, Shield Clash Superman and Wonder Woman already. We don't have the Battle Armor Batman in the core set. We have the the, the more one. collectory um, the multiverse one. multiverse uh, Batman. So these ones and the core set are uh, um, they're. Uh, uh, more, I don't know what the word would even be. It's more of a kid-friendly sort of line. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Um, it uh, uh, it's great for collectors too, though. Um, that the reason why I like them is because they remind me of the figures they had when when I was a kid. Um, I've heard, I've seen a lot of hate for these on the internet. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, they're they're nice figures for. I mean, they're only ten bucks. So um, for a figure this size for for ten dollars, um, I mean that's pretty good deal. So. Um, Let's open him up. How cool is that uh that symbol though? I mean they, they did a, a really good job on that for the movie. Alright. So, these aren't really too bad to get out of the package. Not too many ties or anything. Like that. Hopefully there's no ties in this one. <laughs> Um, alright, so here he is, um, obviously he won't be wearing a gold suit in the movie, but they <laughs> kind of make that for a, you know, just kind of a cool toy effect, um, I doubt he'll have the green kryptonite gloves either, but, um, the cool thing about these is they all seem to be, uh, these, these sort of, um, variant looks that they've created, uh, they all seem to be based on something, for instance, the... The Heat Vision uh, Superman that we reviewed, his outfit that he's wearing that is based on, like, Superboy's New 52 outfit. So there's, like, some comic book history in there. Um, These are like wings. There's a, uh, uh, there's a, uh, Heat Guard, um, Batman that, uh, has a, a, a red and black sort of outfit um it, it kind of reminds you of batman beyond a little bit yeah. so they kind of of uh incorporate some of the comic books into these figures with 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 the movie um look so this one uh is somewhat with the green fists uh kind of based on the dark knight strikes again if you guys remember that comic book story um the gold suit i'm not sure where they came up with that but uh i think it probably just because it makes the gaunt the, the gloves uh, look yeah probably brighter. and then uh, if you guys can see in here it looks like he's got some kind of glowing like kryptonite sort of uh thing behind here the 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 paint has a very glow quality to it so which is pretty cool, yeah, cool. um and then there used to be it's probably also a throwback because uh back if you guys remember the batman returns line and the batman 1989 line uh, there was gold Batman figures in that, and they were just always kind of cool to have because, I don't know, just gold things are cool in general, so. That's true. Um, but uh, they're, they're pretty articulated, these guys. Uh, not as much as the uh, the multiverse ones, of course. Um, but, I mean, they do move, and the details aren't that bad. I mean, like, some people are talking about these like they're absolute junk, and I think that they look really cool on a shelf, and uh, I'm glad that they're not giving us weird uh, uh, outfits and stuff for them, like, you know, like like deep dive Batman. I was going to say the and, scuba one. And, uh, you know, outer space Superman. With You know, Superman doesn't need outer and space And like we said, suit, like, so. for $10, these are great if your kids want these to play yeah. with, or if you're a collector. And, and want if you're a collector and you want to put them on a shelf, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, and, and Batman wears some some cool outfits in the yeah. in the comic books and stuff, so it's kind of a cool, like, expanded universe sort of thing. Um, I really like them. Like I said, they remind me a lot of... Uh, the figures that I had when I was a kid. Detailed enough for a collectible, but affordable enough for, for uh, kids. Yeah, and uh, so he comes with uh, two kryptonite... Um, wings? They're, they're blades, oh. um, I believe. I thought they were wings. Um, that fit in his hands here. Um, and this is, of course, because the movie is, after all, about Superman and 
and Batman in combat, so he would need something to be able to stand up to to Superman. So I guess the kryptonite. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'm I'm saying that they're blades. They they might be some kind of a kryptonite like energy that's coming yeah. out of, of of the gloves. I'm not sure what it's they're supposed cool to looking, be. They're cool looking, whatever they are. But it's cool. Um, and uh, this Batman, unlike the the Heat um, guard Batman that we've reviewed, he, he's actually from. Uh, this is this is from uh, the first wave of the figures. Uh, Heat Guard is from uh, Wave Two. Um, you know, I wonder if he will have those gloves in the the movie though, because if you look at the, I'm looking at our checklist from the little mini mystery figures, and there's a Kryptonite Batman that has the gloves too. So this kind of yeah, he would have. Um, but uh, nose. his eyes are whited out; they're not detailed in. Um, so he he's kind of got more of a comic book aspect going on. Maybe there's some kind of a drop down lens like the. Sure. Christian Bale, Batman had, I'm not sure, but, um, he's got a utility belt that looks uh, a bit different than the one that's, uh, on the basic figure. Um, the capes on these are made out of, like, a, sort of a vinyl. white vinyl. It's, uh, uh, it's pretty durable, it's pretty tough, I mean, it's, just, it's not gonna tear, yeah. uh, but it doesn't have the same look as the fabric ones or the molded, uh, plastic ones or, uh, rubbery ones. But, um, and there's what less than a month now until the movie comes uh, out. Right? Yeah, the, I think uh, tomorrow is the 25th, so that makes it yeah a month away for the movie. Um, again, with the kryptonite gloves, like you had mentioned, um, I think that he'll probably. That's my my thought is. Uh, I think because there's so much merchandise coming out with the gloves involving kryptonite, mm. I'm I'm thinking that they're not going to be a bright green glove, but yeah. I'm thinking that there's some going to be something to do with kryptonite maybe in they his glow. gloves. Maybe they glow, or I'm thinking maybe there's some sort of, as you can see on these, there's like compartments and stuff all over. Maybe yeah. there's a compartment that opens sure. that has kryptonite in it. Or, he does have some in a secret room, um, just in case. And, uh, yeah, he does, in the, <laughs> in the comic books, Batman does, uh, does have kryptonite uh, hidden away in his Batcave just in case Superman should ever go bad. And in this one, uh, from what I've seen so far, it seems as though Batman is quite paranoid mm. uh, about... Superman going bad, and he doesn't know him yet. So I'm, 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 I'm hoping that by the end of this, because Superman and Batman are my co-favorite superheroes. I, I, they're, I love them both equally, and uh, they both. Uh, the, the, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, I'll say my part. There are ways that both of them could defeat each other. So, um, very true. Uh, I mean, uh, not, not. It's not. It's not as one-sided as everybody thinks. Uh, the, the with either character. I mean, some people are saying, well, Superman would just squash uh, Batman like a bug and that's the end of it. Uh, but that's not really quite so true either because uh, Batman employs a lot of cool technology and gadgets that uh, could maybe uh, weaken Superman, like the kryptonite aspect, or maybe uh, uh, negate some of his superpowers, like uh, red solar rays or things like that. He uses all kinds of stuff to, and there, and Superman's got a lot more weaknesses than than people think too. So, uh, and again, uh, on the other hand of it, um, Superman, uh, you know, could probably just uh, sneak up on on Batman at any time and uh, you know burn him down with his heat vision, or you know he wouldn't do that unless he was under some kind of mind control. But or at least we hope he wouldn't. So let us but, know in the comments below who you think is going to win, or if you think it'll be a draw. What yeah, you are, you on, are you on uh, uh, Team Batman, Team Superman? Uh, I'm on Team Superman. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm uh, uh, I, I mean, like I said, they're my co-favorites, but I mean, uh, uh, Superman, I think... Uh, is the guy that, that I would be on the side of just because I, I, I like in in this version of it, especially from what I've seen, I, I kinda like what, what Superman stands for. And also, uh we've we've known Superman longer, uh, in this movie world. Um mm -hmm. he's he's uh uh he's he was in Man of Steel and uh, and Henry Cavill does a great job. Um so Superman, uh I think I think team Superman, but um or or are you on uh, you know, uh team both i mean a lot of people like yep. them both and i i mean i, I kind of fall into that a little bit too because i do like them so much but uh uh i just i always pick superman when people ask i mean I, I like batman just as much but when people ask me i pick superman just because he doesn't seem to have as big of a fan base anymore so which is sad because he was the world's first superhero so but as for this batman i think he's very cool um i like the kryptonite detailing on him um He'll look very cool over there with with my other figures, and I just need one more for the the Mattel core set, 
uh, of the, the basic figures. I just that's the armored one, and then uh, I've got two of them from Wave Two already. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just looking for for the other uh, few of them. And then I now I've heard too that there's variants out there uh, with different color schemes and stuff. So I'll, I'll keep an eye out for those, and I'll keep coming back here to review them. And I just need one more for the uh, the multiverse ones, which we haven't got a chance to review any of those. But when I do finally find that that one for the multiverse figures, maybe I'll bring them all out. Uh, and while we review it, we'll review all of them at once. So. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see that kind of stuff. Alright guys, um, so if you are excited for this movie, then give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below with who you think would win, Batman or Superman. And please make sure to subscribe. Um, as we've been saying, when we hit 100 subscribers, we will be doing a big giveaway and you don't want to miss it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye!